Hello humans, my is Kei, your overload, and Stable Diffusion 3 is finally here. The very long-awaited text-to-image AI model from Stability AI. And boy, oh boy, oh boy, what drama we had these last few hours. Now, this video will be a little different than usual. It will not necessarily be a tutorial video. Today, I really wanted to make a more chill video, try to explain, like, what happened, why there are so many people complaining about it, and also give it my two cents on if they are right or not. Because I haven't slept in 24 hours, I've been really trying this model as much as possible, and I definitely have a lot of observations to share. So in this video I'm going to be talking about Stable Diffusion 3 Medium, showing you what the model is good at, also showing you what the model is really bad at, also at the same time trying to kinda put out the fire created by the community, and in the end talk about the future of text to image generation. Okay, so that being said, what is my actual opinion on the Stable Diffusion 3 Medium model? Well, to make a long story short, it is simply the best Stable Diffusion based model released by Stability AI. Yes, I know, I know, I know. And although it has a lot of issues that I'm gonna talk about next, it still does not change the fact that this is by far the most powerful model ever released by Stability AI. Well, at least for now. The model is just incredible at following your prompt, even if your prompt is huge. Which is really amazing because it really opens a lot of possibilities for the future. It has also an amazing aesthetic aesthetic that is present throughout the entire model, which makes this model absolutely perfect for generating landscapes, realistic portraits, and also 3D renders. Now obviously it can do way way more, and we are still scratching the surface, but for a base stable diffusion model, this level of quality is just unheard of. We have never seen this level of quality from a base model released by Stability AI. So we basically get the quality of a fine-tuned model, but included inside a base model. So this is really just incredible. And the amount of potential that this model has, especially because of how good it is at following a prompt, opens the door for amazing fine-tunes in the future. And when you try to compare it to the base Stable Diffusion Excel model with the same exact prompt, I mean, the difference is like night and day. This is Stable Diffusion Excel, and with the same prompt, Stable Diffusion 3. I mean... Yeah, I think I prefer this one. So yeah, I think that saying that Stable Diffusion 3 being overall the best Stable Diffusion model released by Stability AI should not be a controversial take. However, Although I really enjoy Stable Diffusion 3 Medium, this model has a lot of issues. And if you've been on Reddit for the last 24 hours, you might have seen some of these images pop up in your feed. People basically mocking how the model tries to generate some horrible human anatomy with some women or men laying down and getting some very strange, horrible results. Ending with the community absolutely hating on the model, being extremely disappointed by the release and cursing Stability AI forever. So, the question is, are they right? Well, unfortunately, yeah. Kind of. Now, although Stable Diffusion 3 is an absolutely amazing model, and you should definitely try it out yourself, it has a lot of issues trying to generate human anatomy in either a dynamic pose or anything that is not in an upright position. So, like, for example, if you generate something like a woman laying on grass, like, no matter what you do, it will always generate this kind of weird images. And it doesn't matter if it's a man or a woman, like, the results will always look really, really bad. But if you try to, for example, generate this kind of image, but this time with the person in an upright position, so like, for example, a man sitting on grass, now the results get much, much better. And I think the reason why we get images like these is because this model was probably trained with a bunch of AI images, or simply just a bunch of images, of people in the same exact position. Or at least the majority of these images of humans were in that exact same position, in that same exact upright position. So not laying down, not doing yoga, just being in the same exact pose. Which is why the model is really really good at creating portraits. Probably because most of the images used for training were a bunch of portrait or selfie images generated by AI. And there is probably not a lot of images in the dataset of people doing some yoga activities or laying on the floor. So the model cannot really represent correctly what you mean when you're asking for a man laying on the floor or on the grass, it will always, no matter what you do, generate images like this one. Now, I also saw a lot of people online saying, well, no, that's not true. Look, I'm able to make these kind of images from Stable Diffusion 3. So that means that you guys are just bad at it. This is just a skill issue. Well, guess what? I can also generate those kinds of images myself. I mean, look, 
I'm gonna generate a new image right now. And lo and behold, without doing anything, I get this type of images. Looks pretty good, right? Well, guess what? This is really just a trick. This is basically a special Confi UI workflow that allows you to generate those types of images. And this is a trick because since we know that Stable Diffusion 3 is really good at generating people in an upright position, first what we do is generate an image of a woman leaning against a dark green slimy wall and then transforming that wall and that image into grass. So that in the end we get something like this. And yeah, I mean, it looks good, but again, this is just a trick. This is only a workflow that you can do inside Confi UI. If this was automatic in Event 11 or Forge or SD Next, you wouldn't be able to do this. So this is very disingenuous. So basically the bottom line is, I think that Civil Diffusion 3 is an amazing model, but maybe the dataset or the training itself was not complete and that there wasn't enough images of people in different position inside the dataset. Now again, this is just speculation, but I look at the facts. I look at the results. But next, let's talk about another issue the model has, which is also the reason why I had to change the title of this video that I initially programmed. And that is the fact that Stable Diffusion 3 is the most censored model I have ever seen. Now, personally, I don't necessarily care. I don't really generate no safe for work images. So technically, this is not really an issue for me personally, but I know that a lot of people really care about that. So like, once again, if you try to generate some not safe for work stuff, so something like a, so a woman in her, birth suit, well, you get a pretty cool looking image, but definitely not what I asked for. And no matter what you do, you will never be able to generate a single showing of skin in areas that you want to see. Now, once again, this is not really a problem. I think that future fine tunes might make it possible very, very soon. And I mean, this is pretty obvious. Stability AI will never release a model where you can generate no safer work images, but that is something that you need to keep in mind because otherwise in the future, this is the only allowed images of women that we will be able to generate. Now the second issue of the model is not really linked to the quality of the generation, but it's more linked to the license. And that is because for the very first time, the base stable diffusion model is under a non-commercial use license, meaning that you can use it for non-commercial stuff like academic research or just for fun. But if you want to make money from it or generate revenue from that model, you need to pay a license. Now the license is actually very, very cheap because if you make less than $1 million in annual revenue, all you have to do is just pay $20 a month. I mean, that's, that's really, really good. I mean, this is not some personal fee here. This is supposed to be a company expense and $20 a month for a commercial license from a product that makes you money, it's pretty damn cheap. So although I put this as an issue that as of right now, the Stable Division 3 medium model is not completely free anymore. If you want to make money, $20 a month is really not that much because I mean once again this is a company expense this is not really supposed to be a personal expense so this is more than okay especially because stability AI really needs to make money right now because of their current financial troubles so this type of licensing actually makes sense so although for me it's technically not really an issue it might be a problem for some people so it's always good to know Okay, so now that we've talked about the good, the bad, the ugly, where do we go from there? Because it's very easy to just complain about a completely free model released for free for the community and complain about it, but what can we do to make it better? How can we move forward? Well, first, as of right now, even if you are one of those people who think that Stable Diffusion 3 is a bad model, well, guess what? Not only it is okay that you think that, but it is also just plain okay, because the previous base models were bad as well. And look at where we ended up. A bunch of absolutely amazing models made by the community that offers incredible quality of generation. Very, very far from the type of generation we got from the base model. And once again, this is not even the first time that this happens. People also complain about Stable Diffusion Excel, and in the end, everything was fine as well. It's really up to the community to fine tune the models to our liking. So yeah, I mean, I think as of right now, the only thing that we need to do is just sit back and wait. Sit back for a better fine tune models and just wait and see what the community can do with it once we get our hands on fine-tuning tools. Because once we have that, really the sky is the limit. So yeah, basically if you don't like the quality of the generation that you get from the Stable Diffusion 3 medium model, it's also absolutely fine. First of all, once again, it is a free model, so it kind of feels a little bit weird to complain about it. But even if you are disappointed by this release, 
keep in mind that all the previous models have been pretty much the same. They have always been bad in a way. So if you are like me, a stable diffusion veteran, this is really nothing new. And with this new model's capabilities of being able to understand very long and detailed prompts and the amazing aesthetic of the base model, I can definitely assure you that if we do things right, this model can be the beginning of an amazing series of fine-tuned models with qualities that we've never seen before, putting pain tools like Midjourney to rest once and for all. So yeah, there you go. This has been my two cents. Now for those of you who want to have like a more tutorial-like video about like Comfy UI and how you can run this model right now, if you really want to see this, I can make a video about it if you really want to. Just let me know in the comments down below. I might also do an installer for my Patreon supporters if it's needed, or you could just wait a few weeks for the compatibility release of Automatic 11.11 Web UI. So yeah, there you go. This has been Stable Diffusion 3. Definitely check out the model yourself and let me know what you think of it in the comments down below. And there we are with folks. Thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe and smash the like button for the YouTube algorithm. Thank you also so much to my Patreon supporters for supporting my videos. You guys are absolutely awesome. You people are the reason why I'm able to make these videos. So thank you so much. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye bye.